Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And today we're going to talk about adding a signature to your posts. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. And this video I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this using a plugin. Um, you may want to add, um, we talked earlier about having multiple users and authors on a website. And um, when you have this, it's pretty uh, cool if each of them can have their own little signature at the bottom. Uh, with a link back to them, things that they want to have going on the signature, something about them. When you have a blog that's just yours, you may want to put things down there, and that may be things like, um, you know, thanking people for reading your blog, encouraging them to tweet or the like, or to uh, subscribe to your RSS feed, and different things like that. So today I'm going to show you how to do this using a plugin. Now back here in the WordPress dashboard, I had gone and clicked on the Add New, and I searched for Signature, and I found a plugin that I wanted to try, and um, let me find the name of it here. The plugin that I'm going to try is called WP Post Signature. Now, you can you try some of the other plugins there, just experiment with them uh, until you find one that does like you want. I'm going to go ahead and show you how this one works. You go into settings, and then you're going to find and click on WP Post Signature. And you type in here what it is that you want to have show up, and you can use HTML code in here and you click on if you want to show on all your posts automatically and just put it on I put mine on the bottom because that's where I wanted it to show up and clicked on save changes. Uh, let me show you how this looks. Here I am in the uh, blog loop where it just goes from from blog post to blog post and um, you can see it's not showing up here. But if you were to click on just one of these and go directly to that page itself, it does show up. It just didn't show up yeah, in the um, blog page itself, but it shows up here this way. Um, now, one thing I noticed is it's kind of squished together. It is coming after these. It's not coming on the front page. So if you want this to show up the way I'll show you another way that you can manually do things, or you can go find another plugin. Okay, now I added a little HTML. When you have the P, that means like start a new paragraph, and the close P, that's that diagonal line means close, and it'll be like the end of the paragraph. And this will give the space, um, skip the line, and then click changes, and I'll show you what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. And as you can see, there's too much space here, and we need to have maybe a space here. Uh, let's go back and make those changes. Okay, I went ahead and saved the changes. Um, you can see that the, uh, we may just get rid of this, make one more change here. Okay, you can see how we have this sitting in here now, and this is how it looks, the signature. And uh, I may go ahead and change that a little bit, but as you can see, um, you can go ahead and add one using this uh, plugin here. And I'll come back with a couple more little tips on adding signature to a uh, blog post. Uh, this is just one way. Uh, you can find another way you may want to do it. Maybe you want to use a different plugin. Or maybe no plug-in at all. Anyway, I will be right back. This is Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers.